Welcome back to our show. Our first guest today is John McMahon. And John is the uh, campus director of State Fair Community College here in the Ozarks. And uh, John, glad to have you here. Thanks for coming. Well, thank you, Mike. <coughs> John, give us a quick one-minute biography uh, of your life here at the lake and things you've been doing and uh, how you got into the college and maybe your family. Okay, sure. Uh, well, actually, I, I retired from the Air Force. I uh, spent 26 years in the Air Force and uh, accidentally got into education, liked it, stayed with it for about 15 years down in Arkansas. Uh, moved up here to follow my grandkids, <coughs> and uh, who I actually raised uh, when I got here, but uh, had an opportunity to, to start teaching business classes at State Fair Community College and uh, went through two bosses and uh, they put me in as a temporary boss to be the director of the lake campus uh, and we just continued to grow so they offered me the time the job uh, permanently i guess or at least until we keep growing so so your most of your family's here then at the lake oh yeah yeah good. i've got two sons that live here and my wife uh, <coughs> and, the, and the grandchildren so. good i wish i had that privilege uh, John, what are some things you're involved here at the lake? Uh, of course, you're with State Fair, but what are some of your personal activities and community involvements outside the school? Well, Mike, we're, <coughs> we're at the lake, so obviously boating's uh, on high, high on the list there. We, we love to get out and go on the pontoon a lot, but uh, as far as uh, community a activities, we're, uh, the college is involved in all the Chamber of Commerce uh, locally. We attend all the, the sessions they have. Uh, I'm a member of LORDEC, the Economic Development Program here at the lake, and just try to stay active in church and community events. That's good. Mm -hmm. LORDEC is something that's a well-kept secret here at the lake, and maybe we can uh, talk about that sometime. All right. Uh, what's State Fair Community College all about, and uh, where has it been, and where is it going? Well, State Fair Community College, <coughs> we started here in, in 2006 with 65 students. Uh, we had a campus over in Lincoln, uh, or near Lincoln University at, at Jeff City, and, uh, and decided to close that campus and, and open one here. So we've had a very slow start. We were in the basement of uh, Stonecrest Mall for almost seven years. We, we moved in there on a two-year lease, uh, but continued to stay and continued to grow in spite of being in the basement. Local kids used to call that the, the uh, basement college. Uh, but we provide a good service. We have great instructors. Um, all of our instructors right now, except one, is, is an adjunct. So they're community people who come in and help us out to grow a program. Right now, we've got a little over 500 students. Uh, we just graduated 75 this, wow. this, this month, as a matter of fact. Uh, and, and hopefully we'll keep those because Central Methodist University is our partner <coughs> and they're going to start doing live classes here at the Lake Campus. Uh, and they're a four-year the bachelor's degree They're college. a four-year bachelor's. And uh, uh, most universities, we ha have a uh, traditional two plus two program, two years with the community college, two years with the four-year college. With CMU, we're fortunate in that we have like a three plus one. Uh, because they will send the students back to State Fair in our classrooms and pick up some additional classes in lieu of uh, upper level classes. So a student can get 36 to 39 hours of upper level, they can get a bachelor's degree. Wow, yeah. that's a good service that's for the fantastic. community. Well, you've kind of given <coughs> us a clue about the last five years of growing from 65 to nearly 500 students and more. Uh, Look into your telescope and see what you would like to see in five years from now. Well, you know, the demand for anything medical related is, is here at the lake area. And uh, <coughs> we've, we've struggled for the last couple of years trying to get approval to have a nursing program here at the lake campus uh, in, in, in getting preparation for that. We've created a lot of science classes that, that meet that need. We do anatomy, physiology, and now microbiology. We do chemistry. Uh, so we can satisfy most of the science requirements for any nursing program. Now, uh, isn't there something coming on north of here that you're involved in? Yes, we are. And I mean, weren't you a hospital administrator in the Air Force yeah, or something? Yeah, matter of fact, I was, yeah. So and, you've uh, got some good connections there, haven't you? Well, it's, it certainly helped out. Uh, our, our, our head nurse, we came down and visited with the local hospital to make sure that the, uh, the, any nurse candidates could do clinicals in, in the local area. And we feel confident that that's, that's going to be okay. Uh, our board... Uh, well, the, the Eldon School Board recommended that we take over their LPN program at, at, at Eldon. And so our board just met, as a matter of fact, uh, Monday night and approved that 
<clears throat> so that, that will officially become a college class. We're going to leave it in its present location for the time being. But in addition to that, they approved an RN program. Wow. So if a student in the area has an LPN license, a certificate, they can now come back to us and ask to get into the RN program and don't have to drive 80 miles to the Sedalia campus. Uh, those programs will be effective this, this fall, and the first classes won't be until January in, in both LPN and RN. That's, that's great. That's their reg regular cycle now. Well, <laughs> State Fair um, is building into the nursing area there, and... Uh, I'm sure that's not the only thing you do. What other programs are you involved in? And tell us about your special project with the uh, state park. Hey, the state park was uh, <coughs> uh, actually ended up being almost a two-year program, but the Pin Oak Lodge out there burned down a couple of years ago. I think 2009 was hit by lightning and burned, and the governor promised to rebuild that. Uh, one of the things that, that uh, he wanted to do was tie it to education, so he got a, a $1.5 million grant and we've been able to utilize those funds, hire instructors who are specialists out in the field of construction. We put 12 students into the program and they've, uh, they've been rebuilding this from ground up. Uh, they did the demolition, they, they started the, uh, all the excavation, uh, everything was done by the students. In fact, today they're doing the final inspection on that and then we'll turn it over to the state. So the students not only got the college education and the credits for their study, but they contributed a lot back into the community oh, for yeah. a, a beautiful project. You know, the, the, the ironic thing about that is because of uh, the delays in, in getting supplies, equipment, coordination. I mean, you had uh, several state agencies involved as well as ourselves and architects and things. But because of the duration, the students were promised 40 hours of college credit. <coughs> Uh, what most of them have received in the in the almost two year time cycle is uh, a college degree, uh, an applied science degree in construction, an applied science degree in CAD uh, programming, and some of them have completed an AA transfer degree. So all of these students are going to walk out of here uh, a whole lot better off than they were. And we paid for everything. This, the grant paid for their books, tuition, fees, everything. It was good for everybody that it wasn't. Was. It, was, it was a blessing. In fact, the state is going to retain about four of those students to help finish up the, the landscaping and things like that, mm -hmm. and they'll pay them, though. So. Good. And uh, <coughs> everything that State Fair does is transferable to uh, the other four-year schools, I believe. Absolutely. We're, we're accredited by North Central, uh, which is the accrediting agency, and uh, any college uh, will accept our, our transfer credits. And so students can get their general educations out of the way, maybe a few specialty classes, and move on to any virtual state or private university or college. Absolutely. That's great. And in fact, we help them in that process. Oh, uh, sure. If we know, if they come to us for the Associate of Arts transfer degree, and we know what specialty they want to get in, we'll contact the next school and make sure that they are taking classes that, that are related to that. That's great. And the articulation is the secret of what everybody needs to, to get to where they want to go. Um, I need to give a little disclaimer that uh, I'm a teacher at State Fair Community College and I've taught for probably 20 different uh, colleges and universities around the country. And I tell John this daily and he can still get his turtleneck shirt off when I say this, but uh, this campus and this college is one of the nicest, most pleasant, easy to be around, good people that ever taught in all over the country from coast to coast. Uh, the State Fair College is now up in the uh, upper floor and it's just beautiful there. Well, you know, I was, I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, uh, we just had orientation for our summer classes and, <coughs> and I, I mentioned to the students that we, we have some students now coming from Jeff City to drive over here and, and one of the students raised her ar arm and said, I'm, that, that's me. So we've got a, a, a village look. The, uh, the mall, when we leased that space, the mall wanted us to retain the appearance of the, of the center court. Storefronts. And, and we did that, so we've got all the classrooms built behind these storefronts, and it's a village appearance, and the waterfall's still running, and so and we're going to continue to grow there. Our, That's our great. enrollment will, will continue. What do you hope your enrollment will amount to eventually? I mean, how, much, how many can you take? Well, I... Th <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Uh, the parking would be the only consideration, but the mall owns the property in back of the mall, so we've already talked to them about filling in the gullies and, and uh, expanding the parking capabilities. But uh, with 500 students, we could probably grow to around 700 in our existing space. We're, we're about to take over another 3,000 square feet, uh, so we'll be able to construct some classrooms in there. So we can continue to grow, and, and we offer very flexible schedules. So Very. Uh, innovative scheduling too. Right. Uh, I know my classes I had uh, eight to ten students, one class had 18 and that was just a perfect size. It wasn't yeah. your big university lecture hall uh, environment and you had a good contact and you got to know your students and uh, they're just part of the community there. Well we like that and it, uh, our average right now is 12.5 students per, per class and that, that works out pretty good. That's it's, great. Uh, it, it's a good environment for students. It, it's a great environment for these high school kids coming out, uh, you know, to stay home, keep their summer jobs, keep their jobs in the local area, uh, live with mom and dad for a little bit longer, grow up some, mature. Students who go to community colleges uh, are usually more successful than they are if they go off to the four-year college because party time. You know. Right. Yeah. Um, that, that's very important. Uh, and tuition there is not as expensive as the <coughs> other schools either, is it? We're going to go up $4 a credit hour in the fall, uh, and that puts us at $131 a credit hour, which is the lowest in the state. I went to a whole year of college for that much <laughs> back in the early <laughs> well, 60s. Well, Mike, we're going to be talking about age here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, what would you like to do that the State Fair is not doing? I mean, what, what other things would you like to get involved in? Well, w we obviously would like to have more more involvement in the community with our students. You know, we, we currently now in our business programs, we do internships, so we send the students out into the field and, and do things. Uh, our education programs, we send our student teachers out to local schools, and uh, we have several success stories of that to where they've gone out, did their internship, and then were hired by that school district. So that's a great opportunity for for the kids. That's great. We want to continue to grow and, and we will. Uh, the, the mall is a big place uh, and, and we hope that if we stay in that facility that we'll continue to expand out into the other areas. That's and, wonderful. And that's, that's our goal. That's wonderful. Well John, I'm so glad you could take the time out. I know it's kind of in an interim here for you with uh, summer campuses uh, classes uh, in starting and uh, is there room for enrollment still? Absolutely, and uh, another thing we were going to start this summer that's kind of unique is uh, I've been blessed by uh, AmeriCorps. Uh, they, they had to place some, some of their workers, and they were allowing me to take some of them, so I've recruited some of my own students that either are graduating or have graduated, and I'm going to use them in a tutoring program this summer uh, to where I'll set up some specialized classes in math, English, or whatever. And students can walk in, sign up for these classes absolutely free, spend as much time as they need to. Uh, this will be available until 9 o'clock every night, except Friday. Friday night's not a good right. night to have That's classes. True. So, so uh, <coughs> even older, uh, non-traditional students are sure. welcome there, and there's still room for uh, enrollment. John, who should they contact, and what's the number? 573-348-0888. And ask, uh, anybody who answers the phone will be glad to provide them good information. That's great. Well, it's a joy. And uh, thank you for coming and helping us with the show. And we hope you're successful. You bet. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank you, you sir. Thank you for viewing our show today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, again. We'll have some other guests in subsequent shows. And if you have any uh, persons that you would like to uh, have interviewed on our show, uh, please give me a call. I'm Mike Courier here at uh, Lake TV and we'd look forward to talking to you. Have a great day.